do it. Stateful process restart. What we have here is the NXOS operating system actually can do self-healing. <laughs> so we actually keep state within the box of any single process that's running. And so when we need, if a process fails or needs to restart, we can restart from that state without even having any of the protocols realize it. So let's go to the whiteboard and I'll show you our quick demo. If we take a look at a typical network architecture, we many, many times find ourselves building triangles for redundancy. Oh, yeah. and, and so if we look at this as the ag layer of a data center, and this is the access layer of a data center. Ag aggregation. Aggregation layer, right. yep. And here's our nexus boxes up here in the ag, and we have a 4948, one of the top of rack switches All that right. Cisco sells here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've built a loop, and spanning tree is going to break that loop. So these are, this is what's going to be blocking. What we're going to do is actually uh, initiate a failure on the spanning tree process of this box right here, which happens to be the root bridge. Ordinarily, a pretty catastrophic failure. Yeah. Spanning, re spanning tree reconverges, and you're dealing with some sort of Oh, yeah, re-elect re another all route. The cas everything. All the cascading yeah. updates that it's have to massive. occur, right? Right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to initiate that here, and we're going to monitor it on the 4948, which ordinarily would have to route around this failure, and we'll actually see how it responds, see if it even recognizes this self-heal. Let's okay. do it. All right? <laughs> so so I got to see this. Let's jump over to the command line here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the 4948. So if we do a show spanning tree on the 4948, we see everything's running. We're running uh, basically standards-based spanning tree, per VLAN spanning tree, yep. the usual stuff. There's nothing too interesting yeah, here. But one of the things we're doing is we're going to turn on debug. So if we turn on debug and we start seeing the BPDUs come by, mm -hmm. if you look at the time here, every two seconds, like a good protocol should, yep. we're sending BPDUs. And so the 4948 is receiving these BPDUs from our Nexus root bridge just like it normally should. So now let's jump over to the Nexus and see how it's doing. Again, the show spanning tree says this is the root bridge, as you see right here, all the ports are forwarding and so forth. The other thing we're going to show is the actual spanning tree process. So if we look here, we look at all the different processes. We talk about a modular operating system, many different processes. Process 4652 happens to be the spanning tree process. It's a randomly selected number, yep. and it's only restarted once. So now what we're going to do is actually initiate a failure of this process, mm. and we're going to see what happens. So right now, up oh, there it went. We just had a failure of the spanning tree process. So the first, you see, service force exit for the STP process. Now what we're going to do is go look at show spanning tree. The state is still there. The ports are still forwarding. If we go look at the process, hey, look, it's it not a new process. It spawned a new process. So it's now it's 18196 is the process ID, and it's had two restarts. So that's wow. the key to actually, nothing actually happened on the Nexus. Let's go over and look yeah, at the 4948. 4948 is still pumping away every two seconds it, for receiving BP to use. You didn't see a thing. No stop. Matter well, you don't see any, what you would see is, is what's called a TCN, a topology change notification, that would tell you the topology changed. Huh. So it's effectively healed itself. There was no reconvergence. We restarted the, the, the actual process, maintained state. This is going to bring you higher availability during any type of outage in your data center. I don't know if this is, digs in a little bit too deep, but how do you do something like that? Uh, is that is that secret sauce stuff we can't oh, get into? It is a secret sauce. We okay. use something called PSS, or Persistent Storage Services, to actually maintain that state. It's kind of like a relational database within the operating system, and we just can restart and, and pull that back. You obviously have to do that up. very quickly, right? Yeah. Because it doesn't take long to notice there's no change. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very that cool. is an excellently cool demo. That's really something else. Well,